What's up, Will Zen here, and welcome back to Frame No. I am really loving this series. So yeah, we have, and now we have we're playing as Mr. Midnight, Grand Chu. Ah, uh, what an ugly tree! I scratched you, evil thing. Kitty, Kitty, stop it! What are you talking about? Friend? My darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else should I who else would I be? Friend, you are a tree. Don't be silly, help me get up. Wait just a second, where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What but how? My dear, this was the end of the line. A big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. It was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night, Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. I'm the Igni Mihala. Koke, Koke, Ig, Ranma, Pesco. Hola ni. The fuck are you saying? Igni Jocko Vinti. Oh, you like Jocko? What's Jocko? I want some Jocko. Jocko sounds good. I'll eat some Jocko. Whatever it is. What's Jocko? You won't tell me what Jocko is. What is Jocko? Tell me what. You gonna tell me what Jocko is? Uh, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hola. Koke. Hola. What is Koke? Stop it. I'll scratch you. Hola. Run my igni. What are they saying? Oh my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Hola. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hola igni venti. What are you even saying? Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, friend. Let's see. These are friend's stockings. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. Go this way. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, I have to be quick. Okay, so every time I step on it, it's gonna do that. How do I do this? Okay, what do I do? Hold on. I've seen some of the mechanics. They circulate. Well, obviously. <laughs> obviously, they circulate. <laughs> Mr. Midnight, I thought you were smarter than this. I thought you were smarter than this. I thought you wouldn't point out the obvious. Maybe I can use her shoe? Her shoe. Okay, no, I can't. 
wooden boat will obviously. <laughs> Again, I thought you were smarter than this. No vegetable sitting on a boat. I, I have no words for you, Mr. Midnight. You're supposed to be the smart one. Nope, it still won't work. So what exactly do I do? Where's Dream Cheap? What is it? Well, why don't you go over there and find out? I hear sounds coming from it. Well, then go search it. But again, it's probably not the cat instinct. It's human instinct. They speak. It may be a city. Oh dear, I hope you find the purse already. I found the purse, but I can't reach it. Why not? Oh dear, do something. There's a bridge, and lots of water, and the bridge won't work as needed. Huh, that's just perfect. Well, make it work. I can't really help you from here. There are some round things that keep on rolling back. Well, do something so they won't roll back on them. And Kitty, I love you. Thank you for helping me. You're the best. Oh, thank you. Yeah, why don't you use that shoe with that? Okay, what? Hold on. I'm gonna look up a guide real quick. I have had to look up a guy in, in almost every episode. Okay, oh, pick up the... I will take this stone, it's shiny. I've seen similar mechanics. We use the crystal with. We use the. There we go. I got the purse only because I'm the best. Yes, you are, Mr. Midnight. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the surf who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Oh, no. Ni... Ni haku? Ah, ra... Nama... Paskanoto. I don't know what he's saying. Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? Do you want to help you, friend? I can feel it. Look, run my ripple. Don't be afraid, my friend. Can you stop them, please? I don't... Well, don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Golopma, Golopma. Chapter 3, Vegetative State Itimbal minakist be zir ni hala anam Irishma itim gorska imitin ufrole I don't know what he's saying. Gorska Zero. 
I have no clue what he's saying. Look him, creature. My name is Zier. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My goodness, my good friend Ride told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. That's gonna be the voice for him. Or her, I don't know. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. Oh, no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Eptim, mana, kaist, ecto, ecto, bro, ecto, bro. Good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bell family tree. Uh, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this this little creature staying next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. Can you see the, all that in a scene? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, friend. This is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand. But can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? I'm dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. You must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel the love, you die, even if your body still walks. Is that why you have no eyes? Is that why you have no eyes, you have no love? You, like, you guys have no love, so you turned into these? Like, she has no love? Does she? Wait, no. No, she still has eyes. No, I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. This is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Uh, I have a question. Are you the king? Are you the king? Ah, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithersta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is the need of he... Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many... There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time. And I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door. That will take you home. But it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is that door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first. You must be able to walk. Well, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That'll be very great. Walk I can do. Well, no, I don't have legs. Talk, I can do. Wait, no, I don't understand your language. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring you your human body back. Only the Great Wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand your... understand her language. But how... But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. 
Ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. And you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on, on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Where, where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. This is getting really good. Like, friend Bo, it, this is not an... It really goes... It's really different from other horror games. Like, instead of jump scares... It gives you, like, new things. Well, not always new, but it gives you things, like, that would be in The Shining. Well, I haven't seen The Shining, so I can't see that, but there's Shining references, and there's even a Jason Voorhees reference. I think I showed it. I don't know if I showed it on my first episode. Anyway. Good day. My name is Palantras, and I'm your doctor today at your humble service. I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have that hit voice. Are you the emergency case? Oh, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Yeah, like I was saying, this gives you new things each chapter. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. I mean, if... Like, I don't know if I'm going to be using the duo routine in this chapter. Like, if I'm even going to need it anymore. Because it was only because I had it to help me find Mr. Midnight. of the great Volokas created it. It was the... It had the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. So when do I get my legs and arms back? My legs and arms back. Oh, right. We wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. Alright, hmm. So, right, hmm. So who is this Volokas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. Ah, uh, yes. I, I don't think the book mentioned the first reality, did it? I think it only mentioned the fifth and fourth reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to his third star, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Oh, that sounds weird. I mean, I didn't know about all the realities. Fran, you read the book. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to it? Oh. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to it, Thursday? My kitty and I, my kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. Yep. Big monster that follows me did this. Broke the bridge. He wants me dead. 
he would like to see you dead. That sounds what, terrible. I, pre I prefer not to talk about this. But sir, doc but sir, doctor, you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they became true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. The human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being burned. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. This is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. It's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did, I did this to myself? Wow, but... Palantras, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well... When you travel to Athirsta, you open the door between your reality and ours. And, with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there's only one who would like to position the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh. He's crying. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. You don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Mm. Yes, Doctor. Soldier of the Sun, Spirit of the Water, your friend your arms and legs. Yes. How do you feel, friend, from the thirst of? Oh, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This sweater is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. You are fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Jaren, but he was an evil old man. Ah, yes. You don't remember who Dr. Jaren was? How dare you? You should remember that he was the person who gave Rand Duotine and told him not to take it. An old man? Hmm. I bet he was that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Here we are again. Show Zier the king what a nice ether stone eyes you become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday.
that would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, I'm gonna leave this episode off here. See ya.